life. Now. Big Board Sports with Roger Weiland. And a very good evening, everybody. We are sitting on a busy weekend. Well, we are. MVP Arena certainly is doubleheader Saturday and Sunday. It all starts with the return of the Firebirds Saturday night. The Firebirds released its final roster Wednesday afternoon downtown MVP Arena. And the players were introduced to season ticket holders ahead of their game against the Orlando Predators under a different ownership group. And there the brain trust is the Firebirds will feature an explosive offense led by that guy, quarterback Jake Medlock. Wide receiver Darius Prince in a defense that will be much improved. It all sets up for a run to the Arena Bowl Championship. We'd love to see four to 5,000 a game, right? That would be great. Plus, plus, plus. Um, financially, this really is more about doing it for the community than a money-making scheme, as you're well aware. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of great community involvement stuff that we've done, and, and having this here at the arena and bringing the Firebirds back, I think, is really the most important thing of all of it. This is the most athletic team I've ever been a part of, and I'm looking forward to it with the speed around and how big we are and how physical we are. It's going to be fun. We only know to put one style on the field, and that's championship football. We've been doing that since 2021. We won back-to-back championships in 21 and 22 so uh yeah we just gonna put we put together a championship team and we're ready to roll and yes folks there will be a block party saturday starting at five o'clock outside mvp arena on north pearl street here we go meanwhile the albany firewolves they'll host their first playoff game at mvp arena sunday at 3 p.m be a quick turnaround for MVP. The Firewolves made a big turnaround themselves this season. They won three games last year, didn't make the postseason. Now they win a franchise record 11 games and can advance with a win over the Halifax Thunder, a team they beat back in January. We're excited about uh, continuing that uh, atmosphere as we go into the playoffs. Coming off a win is is tremendous, and now we just we've we've got to win one, right? And then we get to go, keep going and going and going. So one win, and we get to move on. And this is Sunday's big day for us. Should be a lot of fun. The U Albany women's golf team is headed to the Auburn Regional of the NCAA Tournament in Auburn, Alabama. The Great Danes learned of their 12th seeding during an NCAA Tournament Selection Show watch party at City Line Bar and Grill earlier today. U Albany will compete at the Auburn University Club May the 6th through the 8th. Great Danes captured the MAC championships, uh, and this marks the program's fourth trip to the NCAA Tournament. The Yankees won. They beat Oakland 7-3. to Aaron Judge breaking out of a slump. He had a, a two-run homer. Rizzo and Soto also went deep. The Red Sox shut out the Cleveland Guardians 8 to nothing. Connor Wong with two home runs. Uh, and the New York Mets got a dominating 8-2 win in San Francisco. Speaking of dominating, Francisco Lindor with a pair of two-run homers in that game. And how about the eight-seed Miami Heat? They take game two in Boston. 111-1. 101 to even that series with the Celtics in a game of peace. Tyler Hero, 6 of 11 from three-point range. He ended up with 24 points. You never know, but Boston's still a pretty heavy favorite to beat Miami. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Roger. You Last check of the forecast here with Winique and a cool night. A chilly night, Rachel. <laughs> temperatures below freezing right now, and that will make for a cold start to your day tomorrow. And temperatures will warm up into that milder range.